I was diagnosed in July last year, so 2014, with breast cancer. Um, that uh, early stages, but it had spread to some lymph nodes, um, but successfully operated on, and they confirmed clearance. So that was really good. First I heard about it was my first appointment with my consultant when he was talking to me about radiotherapy. Um, so that was towards the end of my chemotherapy when I had the first meeting with him and he explained what to expect and then explained that there was an option for me to try the, um, this technique and that could help me. Um, so yeah, he explained it really well and, and I was happy to try and, and give it a go. all got described very positively that, and it was nice to um, be able to have some control over helping myself through the second part of the treatment through the radiotherapy. So it was nice to know that there were some other things that I could do. So by holding my breath that the heart would drop out of the way and I could minimise disruption and, and, and potential damage to my heart. So that was a really nice positive thing to be able to do. Well initially you have the CT scan and that's when they map out exactly where the radiotherapy is going to be going through, they kind of map out your body um, and then they walk you through the breath hold technique. So you um, have a mouthpiece um, and they can monitor your breathing um, and then you basically they talk you through how to hold your breath. One thing that was a bit unusual is you're, I'm used to holding my breath for swimming or for snorkelling, but what you're not really prepared for is holding your breath and keeping all the air in. So it took me a couple of practices to get that right. Um, but when they explained it to me and when I practiced a few more times, that was fine. And you wear goggles, which is a bit weird, um, and you can see your breathing going up and down and they, they set a line so you can inhale your breath and, and hold it in a particular zone. Um, and you see the seconds counting down and you don't have to hold it for long. It's like 30, 40 seconds, um, which is really manageable. I was a bit worried I wouldn't be able to hold it for that long, but actually it was, it was, it was fine. It was really quite easy. It improved as I went through. When I initially found out about it, um, you're pretty exhausted from chemotherapy, well I was, and the thought of having to hold your breath seemed a little bit daunting because you, you felt very, very tired. Um, but actually as I started and I realised that it was really manageable, it was, it was a really positive thing because so again I felt like there was something that I felt quite empowered that I was able to do something to help myself through the remainder of my treatment and I was quite pleased with myself that I was able to do it and able to, to carry on doing it and have been fine able to do it every day that I've had my radiotherapy. A little bit of redness started last week, so at the end of the second week um, I started to get a little bit of skin irritation, so a little bit of localised redness, almost like a mild sunburn, but not painful. It just looks um, a little bit red and I guess my skin's a bit sensitive, but I've been prescribed a special cream which works fine and you, I put that on a couple of times a day, which I got from my doctor. Good. Yeah, I mean, I have to say it's been a pretty rubbish six months, um, but the relief to be the other side of it um, is immense. And yeah, I mean, I, I'm a triple negative breast cancer, so they don't know what my drivers are, but my, I've had genetic testing and my genes are going into um, a research um, project that's going on with St George's Hospital in the genetics department. So hopefully in a few years they might have some more answers and some further treatments potentially.